Tributes have been paid to a celebrated Indian bodybuilder, Manohar Ike, who has died in the city of Kolkata, Calcutta, aged 104. Mr. Ike died of age-related complications on Sunday, his family said. He is survived by four children. Mr. Ike was the first Indian to become Mr. Universe in 1952, five years after the country's independence. The 1.49 m, 4 feet 1 0 in, tall bodybuilder was popularly known as Pocket Hercules. He began his career as a stuntman performing with a famous magician and would often enthrall the audience by bending steel with his teeth or resting his belly on swords. Mr. Ike, who once stood for election and lost, gave his last performance at the age of 89. He was an inspiration to everyone, young and old. Death is inevitable but Manohar Ike will be remembered by all, across every sporting discipline, footballer Chennai Goswami told the Indian Express newspaper. West Bengal Chief Minister Mamata Banerjee said Mr. Ike's death had ended a historic era. He made us proud, Ms. Banerjee said. After getting a job as a physical instructor in the Royal Air Force in British India in 1942, Mr. Ike led his team to rebel against what he felt was the oppression of their British commanders. An argument ensued and Mr. Ike ended up slapping a British officer, for which he was sent to a Calcutta jail a year before India achieved independence from British rule in 1947. With little else to do in jail, Mr. Ike practiced his metal bending skills on the bars of his cell. After the triumphs of his youth he continued to display his strength at shows across India and is credited with inspiring millions of Indians to get fit. When Mr. Ike competed in the 1952 Mr. Universe contest in London, his statistics were awe-inspiring, bicep 46 cm, chest 1.2 m when swollen, forearm 36 cm and wrist 16.5 cm. I have been blessed with this body he told the BBC in 2012. What else does one want?